Could you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Luis Capitan. I am director of facial team, um, one of the surgeons of the group. How long have you been using a piezo surgery for? Uh, we started using piezo surgery, I think, in 2010. Since then, we have been introducing more and more tips and inserts, and nowadays is a fundamental part of our uh, tools. What may you change from traditional rotating and oscillating tools to piezo surgery? Uh, th this is kind of funny because it, it was for a very specific patient that uh, we suffered a lot with a, with a surgery trying to remove the gonial angles. Uh, so then we decided even to stop doing this procedure because it was very, very difficult to guarantee a predictable outcome. And then we, we discussed between the two of us, Daniel and me, and, and then we, we said, why not try pietro surgery? Because they say it's a safe um, and predictable technology. Let's try to do it with, with the same with the pietro surgery. And then we did it um, and we fell in love. Which procedures are you using it for? Uh, well, as I said, it's a, it's, a, it's a very fundamental part of our activity. So, in, in probably all of the bone surgery is, is in, the, in the surgical field, it's, it's ready to, to work with. Uh, it's the most important uh, tool or instrument for jaw and um, chin contouring. And then, as I said, it's, it's a complementary tool for other surgeries like for her reconstruction or malar or whatever bone facial bone surgery. After the adoption of piezo surgery, have you changed the way you do some surgical procedures? Uh, totally. Uh, I mean, uh, we started from scratch uh, because we were totally new using piezo surgery, but then we 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 made an adaptation of, of our techniques. And nowadays we have described techniques based on the piezo surgery. So yes, it, it, we, we worked together with piezo surgery. We have learned a lot. We are learning today, even, uh, and yes, we have adapted our te our techniques. Yeah. Thinking about your patient, which are the main intraoperative and postoperative advantages? Probably to me, the most important one is the predictability of the surgery. So we know exactly what are we offering to our patients and what are we going to have during the procedure. This is uh, day and night. This has been a dramatic change. But then as a very safe and very non-harmful technology, we, we can guarantee a better post-operative healing, less swelling, so, in, in the whole process, it helps. It's not just during the procedure itself, but the whole intraoperative and postoperative staff is very helpful. In your opinion, is there any disadvantage? It's like a class, like a common and classic uh, that people say that it's very slow. Actually, it's not a slow, it's a, it's a matter of knowing how to use it, knowing how to, to position the insert, knowing how to move your hand, and, one, and, and with the new medical and the flex uh, 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 devices, you can be as fast as with the traditional uh, technology, but with all the advantages of the piezo surgery. So I would say that I, I cannot really find uh, important disadvantages. How long did you take to master the technology and fully understand how to use piezo surgery devices? Uh, as I said, we are still learning. So it's part of the day, day by day. So we, we use every single day many different types of inserts for different types of procedure and, and surgeries. Uh, 
we have progressively learned how to use it, when to use every specific tip or the inset for which procedures. Um, and since 2010, now we are in 19, almost nine years learning. So it's not that it's an impossible learning curve, but you don't, you always are, are learning and, and doing things better thanks to piezo surgery. Is there anything else you would like to add? Sorry? Is there anything you would like to add concerning the technology, the benefits as well? Well, your, your company is always working on how to produce and how to present surgeons more powerful and, and faster devices. And this is something that is going to be good uh, the moment that the speed is, is a little bit better. It would be very good for every, for everybody, surgeons, patients, and uh, yourselves. Uh, of course, we are working in, in, diff in new insets adapt adapted to different specific anatomical areas of the lower jaw, but this is something that now we know that is is working very well. So, no nothing, nothing very specific. Thank you, doctor, for your time. Very, very kind for your time.